several months ago, and then we got into James, uh, and the tongue. And it's a, it seems like it's a topic that we hear, but we really don't hear, we really don't need uh, to walk with here. James says, you know, no man can paint the tongue. Uh, you know, when we was young, our moms and dads would say, we'd say we wash your mouth out with soap. If you can set a bad word. But we knew what the limits was. We knew what was bad. We knew what was acceptable. We knew what wasn't acceptable. It seems like in this type of society today, the kids, they don't have any boundaries. They don't have any bars. It's, everything's acceptable. And, and people think it's cute. Well, it's not cute anymore. It's gone beyond being the cute. So, you know, uh, I got a list here of uh, the different types of tongues, and I've got probably 15, 20 minutes on each one of these, so I hope you all got a lot of time tonight. Uh, first one is the lying tongue, the flattering tongue, the manipulating tongue, the hasty, divisive, argumentative, boasting, self-deprecating, slandering, gossiping, meddling, betraying, cynical, know-it-all, harsh, tactless, intimidating, rude, judgmental, self-absorbed, cursing, complaining, retaliating, accusing, discouraging, loquacious, indiscreet, and silent. Several different versions, several different flavors, you want to call it that, of the way we're supposed to talk and the communications that we're supposed to use. The loquacious, I had to look that one up, I really did. That's a, that's a real funny name for the motor mouth. Anybody ever been around people that's absolutely a motor mouth? I've worked with lots of them. You can't, all you can do is listen. Nobody wants to be around them. Uh, if you're going down the more aisles of Walmart, you see them, you go down the other aisle. Get away from the guy. But that's it's true. And, and silent, I just want to brief, briefly talk about silent. It wasn't one of my main topics, but silent. You know, God doesn't want us to be silent. He don't want us to be silent. He wants us to be out there talking to people. He wants us to be out there witnessing to these kids. He wants us to be witnessing to these kids. He wants us to be witnessing at the ball field, at work. Amen. He don't want us to be silent. We, we can't keep our lips together, put our lips shut, and go in our house and sit down. That's not what he wants. He wants us to be out here talking, but he wants us to do it in the right way. You know, lying, you know, tightening the tongue, to bring the tongue under subjection. You, a New Year's resolution ain't going to do it. Counting to ten ain't going to do it. All the other methods, it, it's going to fail. You know, Proverbs 12.22 says, The Lord detests lying lips, but delights in men who are truthful. And the list that I've read off, I know I deal with one of them at one time or another in my time. There's no doubt about it. That most of us walk. I just didn't need it. <laughs> you know, the old forms really is to deceive one of us. First Peter 3 10 says, Whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceived speech. Deceitful speech. Psalms 122, Satan go from lying lips and deceitful tongues. I mean, you can go all through the Bible and every one of those types of tongues that I mentioned and find scripture to back it up. High truths. Anybody ever took a day off and called in sick and you went not sick or called in and sick? I've got to go to the doctor and go fishing. I've worked 41 years in the 
told us. I've, I've heard it all. Most of us has. Exaggeration. True stretching. True stretching is a lie. Half truth is not a lie. It's still a lie. Any way you go at it. Flattery. Flattery is just a lie covered with flowery words. That's all it is. Flattery.
he's supposed to tell Dan, and Dan just passes it around the room. Well, when it gets back over here to me, it is no more close to what the, the first thing that I told him to do. It is no more close. I mean, I told him to take a wheel off the shuttle car the time it gets back from day, I'm going to win your wife from that truck. <laughs> it, it, it just gets all blown out of proportion. And one of the famous ones of the gospel. Now, what's the difference in gossip and normal conversation? If you think of that, what's, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The motive and the accuracy. The motive. If I'm, if I'm telling you something about that to try to make him look bad or Something that I shouldn't even be telling to start with. It, it, it's just 14 karat cost. It's of no benefit. Uh, it, it's of no use. You know, the, the normal people, normal person speaks about 11 million words a year. You got a lot of room for gossip, you know. Could, what could we do if we spoke 11 million good words a year, fish? 11 million words a year witnessing to somebody trying to get them to come to church. 11 million words a year. But if we think about it, how many, how many of those words is actually used for, for God? Or is it just talk, empty talk, gossip empty talk, slandering talk, or whatever it is. That, that's about the lower seven million in a lifetime. We've worked with guys who speak at me in a month on the right day. You know, a lot of people get up with warnings and, and, you know, they brush their teeth and they sharpen their tongue. And they go out with the intent on slandering somebody or causing problems or telling something on somebody. And just, I mean, they do like go in uh, Boot City or go in Walmart with the tabloids. This country delights in gossip. They love gossip. And probably 99.9% .9 of that stuff on these tabloids was not true to start with. And, and our, our children looks at these people, these movie stars, and, and it's, you know, a lot of times that's their idols. Their, their life is it, it's awful. I mean, I've said many a time, if money does that to me, I don't want it. I don't want it. I, I just soon leave it without it. It's destroyed every one of them. You know, gossip is destructive. And it, it, it usually starts with, hey, Dave, did you hear about what so-and-so done? There he is. That's the key right there. Did you hear about so-and-so? I read an article about this, this lady on, uh, she owns a beauty shop. You know, you've always heard that if you want to find something out, go to a beauty shop. Well, I got news for you. The coal miners are right up there with them. Right around. Don't blame it on women. No. You men cannot blame it on women. I know some that's ten times worse. Go to the coal mines. But this one woman, she put up in her uh, beauty shop, tongue fast. And when somebody would come in and try to start gossip, she'd say, uh-uh, we're having a tongue fast this month. We're having a tongue fast this month. Now, I, I thought about that the other day when Mark was talking about having a fast. Let's fast our tongue. Why don't we fast our tongue? Let's do it. Every time you, you think about talking or you're going down to the, the grocery store and, and, and you run, you see people that you know, all they want to do is gossip. All they want to do is tell something that you know ain't true. Believe half of what you see and nothing you hear. I've always heard that. Stay away from them. The Bible says stay away from them. 
step away from the motor mass. Go away. He who gossips to you will gossip about you. Without a doubt. He who gossips to you will gossip about you. You know, there's only one thing harder than unscrambling an egg, and that's unspreading gossip, unspreading the rumor. Because once it's told, and the bad thing about it is, if, if, if I come over him and something, and it really wasn't, maybe just a little bit gossip, you know? By the time they got around to 15 or 20 or 30 people, it's all the story it was. You know, that fish went from this to this. And the bad thing about it, I was the one told it. It don't matter how big it got. It all come back to me. I was the one that started it. And you can't say, but well, now I didn't say that because you did. You might as well have said it. You started it. You might as well just own up to it. You done it. Proverbs 11, 13. A gossip betrays confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. We should be trustworthy. Every one of us should be trustworthy. There's not a person in here that I shouldn't be able to tell anything that I don't want to tell. And say, so Bill, keep this in confidence. It's between me and you. And it never go anywhere else. That's as far as it should ever go. Anyway, trust me. We're supposed to be children of God. Who can we trust? We should also be that person to anybody out there that knows to talk to us. Anybody. It don't matter who it is. If I run into Mike and he says, Went down to see town today. When she gets home, I say, Did Mike? You see Mike today? She goes, I did. It's confidential. Her patience is confidential. And that's what it's supposed to be. Confidential. And she takes it very seriously. Proverbs 29 10 says, I got a gossip. Gossip betrays confidence, so avoid anyone who talks too much. I <laughs> <laughs> <Nice> say, <laughs> but when anyone talks too much, mm. we got a lot of things about when we're. Uh, when we're out talking to people because you know I've heard all my life even from when I was little and I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you what I've always been told church people the worst gospel in the world I have heard that all my life I, I don't know where it comes from it I, mean, I never did watch people to see if they did or not but if there was ever any truth to that it definitely does not need to be. <laughs> we need to change it actually. I haven't seen that. <laughs> you know, when we get born again, we're supposed to be transformed. It won't come out here if it ain't in here. It won't. As we was talking in the Bible study the other day, the electronic guys relates to this is your hard drive. This is your processor. This is your speaker. If it ain't in here, it ain't gonna get processed and it ain't gonna come out. So you gotta start right here. This is where the change has gotta be. It's gotta be in the heart. Can't be anywhere else. Words matter to God. Words matter. Always say matter. 
Jesus said, Matthew 12, 36, I tell you on that day of judgment, people have to, will have to account for every empty word they speak. Empty word. That's not just evil words, cussing, bad language. You down here babbling about John's heart. Empty words. Empty words, man. He says empty words. Robert Ray, 18, 21. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it believe it's true. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. You know, you can't take it back. It was three by thing. It was a spin out all over. If you, if you, if I come up here with a big bow and I shoot Dave through the arm with that arrow, I can't take it back. He's got holes in his shoulder. I can't take it back. If I say something to him that really hurts him, I can say I'm sorry, but he's not coming back. He's not coming back. It's just out there, it's done. We, we said so many things.
when you're talking to people, when you're talking to your employees, you're talking wherever you're at, place of work, you're in the grocery store, you're in Walmart, think. Think about what you're saying. And I actually got this. This is actually posters for teachers. That's the reason I said that to you, teachers. But I really liked it. It says, before you speak, think. Is it true? Is what you're saying true? Is what you're listening to true? It's the so-called gossip you're listening to. Is it true? Is it helpful? It ain't helpful. Might be empty words. Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is what you're saying kind? Yeah, I know you better 
church they, you know, about my age, they might have noticed they were pretty crazy, you know, they said, so good. They kind of, you know, went on just crying, you know, and he got, you know, we kind of got to know, we got to know, really, but so he says, we're going to learn. He's like, hey, I can't stop talking about Jesus. You know, I'm talking about it. I've never been to it before. Now that it's like full of people the way they have now, it's like, I just can't not stop talking about Jesus. I'm like, telling everybody I know. And he's been praying. He's like, oh, Y'all, I know we talk about being a big dude. When he went and hit first, they prayed to get back on. When he started working the pile, it was going to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if I was places it was, or a job opened up, I mean, he keeps you down instead of hearing it. He places it up in the case of what we're trying to have every, you know, 15, 20 miles from home. Right. He moved in, he moved in back track. Yeah. So, yeah. Man, so I, I just think the whole thing, you know, if you, if you always stick yourself, it's that good. You know, when I mean, you got kids, you know, I have to live. You know, every time you're going to love that, you're like, you know, you're going to give them the pecker, you know, you're not going to give them, you know, the watch, you know what I mean? But the whole of it, I'm going to force me to sell them. You know, you know, say, that kind of love you, man. It's really doing what you're supposed to do. You know, the whole has to take care of it. And man, that's a good word, Greg. That's a good word. You don't know how big one that's going to live, man. That's a good word. Because we all are guilty of that at some point in time. I'll carry it around, I'll love you more, I'll have you go around you at some point in time. I think.
And it was really just an emphasis. Well, maybe you could have, yeah, you could have had rather have Jesus. Well, the girl called. She said, we need you to do one more song. And I was like, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? You know, last evening. And I was a little worried. And um, even though, it, to some people, it might be like, I'm not going to do this now, remember. But to me, it was such a big deal. And I was, you know, I was going to bed, and I thought, okay, I have one day to figure this out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just do some clean, secular song. Well, God just checked my spirit as I was going to sleep. And he gave me just 